All right, folks, a little update on the house. Fix to get started back on it if the doctor turned me loose. I'm going to see him in a week. Just it, over a week. Yeah, I think it's just over a week. I think the 12th, I'm going to see him and see what he says about the neck brace and about what I can do and, and be safe doing. But uh, they, they pulled the power pole. We got the permanent power in. They went underground with it. You see this right here. It's going to take 400 ounce service to supply everything we need to this big old house. And got the tub here on the front porch. I saw, I see it's came, it's come in. So, I'm gonna be working on handrails on the front back porch and hanging the chandelier on the front back porch. Look at this tub. Oh my gosh, I love you that. See? That thing is beautiful, isn't it? It is so nice. And it's fiberglass. You can't see it through this crate, but. You can't see it? Not really. It's fiberglass, but it looks like, oh, uh, what, bronze, I guess, or copper? Yeah. Yeah, like copper. It's beautiful. So, so now I can go ahead and finish. I can plumb in, get it ready to plumb in anyway, before we, and then slide it right back out because it's light. It's fiberglass, so it's not real heavy. And I can slide it back out. We can run the floor covering in, and then look at the mixing valve for this thing. It's gonna look super good. But I can go ahead and plumb this in. So this is the mixing valve for it. So it'll be shower too. Handheld shower anyway. And then I can just move it out of the way and put the uh, put that vinyl plank floor in. And then slide it right back in there and plumb in the drain and everything. It'll be done. Oh, got all the receptacles in and the covers. Got the light switches, everything's in. That look, that turned out really good. Beautiful. Yeah, really, really good. So now we're gonna do the air conditioner. We'll have them come in here and go ahead and put the vents in for the air conditioner. And get it ready and going. And we've got cabinets to do. Right now we're waiting, we're, we're gonna do the flooring. We're waiting on Hannah to pick it out, find it as cheap as she can. We're gonna go ahead and put the vinyl plank flooring down. Then I can go ahead and run the baseboard and all the rest of the rooms and have it done and we'll be finished. Oh, chandelier, another kind of chandelier like this. So there's one going on the front porch and the back. They're not quite this big, but they're, they're, they're pretty big. And then one that sits right here over this island, that's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna sit right there. Over that island right there. So, that'll look good. Oh, yeah. Let me bring it in here a little bit. This right here. This is what that tub's going right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide it in here, and that way I can get the right height, and I can just plumb it in right here and have it ready. And it's going to sit on this right here. We'll have pine and just going up the sides. I'm going to bat these cracks right here. And then we're going to probably sand this down real good and put a oil. Uh, Probably stain it, stain it the gray color like the uh, wood on that outside gable end, I mean on the inside of that uh, gable end wall in there. Stain it that color and then just strip these right here with a little, probably inch and a quarter by quarter inch strip. And then I'll uh, put the vinyl plank floor in and then slide the tub in and that'll be done. Go ahead and plumb it in the floor, you know, the drain. I don't know this thing right here is beautiful. Gorgeous. It is beautiful. I don't know if the Yeah, he's probably got the power off. Just in case. Oh, yeah, I do have to cut a couple of scuttle holes in this side of the house, and then on the other side, I'll have to put a scuttle hole over there, too. And that way, we can get up in the attic and do what we need to if, with the air conditioning and stuff. But cabinets. Well, floor covering, cabinets, baseboard, you know, all the trim, finish up the trim, and uh, finish out fixtures and stuff. Start setting toilets and sinks and vanity sinks and all that right there. You gotta sand these down. Or just, they're, they're, they've been sanded, but just go back over them in case they'll, they'll show a thumbprint or a handprint or whatever, fingerprints. So go back over there and sand them light and just get them ready to we'll put the same finish we're going to put on the cabinets and that wall, those walls around the uh, tub in there. 
This is going to be sanded, but no finish on it. I'm just going to sand it down. It's still going to be rough cut. You're still going to see the saw marks and all that. I just wanted to get some of the rough edges on the corners and stuff, and then that way you didn't get a splinter. On the treads, I probably will put some kind of some kind of polyurethane, you know, uh, probably gymnasium grade, something strong that that'll hold up to the to the you know the pressure of going up and down all the time. And in that way, they won't hold dirt. Because if you don't put something on it every time, you, if you step in something outside and you track it in here, it's going to leave tracks on that pine, and you'll need a way to clean it. So we'll probably sand the treads right here down pretty good and then and then put a finish just like on the top and not finish the rest of it but all this will be sanded so it'll blend it in it'll bring it back to that mm -hmm. all that'll be sanded up there looks good gosh it's beautiful up here i'm still gonna figure out something i'm still in the process of thinking on this one but this is a uh, this is going to be like a office area up here and this will be carpet of course because we wanted to keep the noise level down down you know in the kitchen downstairs you didn't want to you know hear people walking around up here whatever if they ever have kids you know kids playing around but i gotta come up with something right here oh i thought about putting uh, maybe up countertop height and then possibly putting you know run, uh, drawers up under this, that way they can use all that drawer space because this is not countertop height, bring it up to 36. That's why we got all the receptacles set at 42. And there's a red wash right there. But all of this right here is that trunk line. Had to build this little wall here to hide the trunk line to go from, from each wing over. You want to get all of this cooling on this wall over here and all the rooms over on this side. But it ain't going to look good. Oh, my God. Ceiling fans on every one of these. The big ones. Uh, got enough can lights that we're not going to need lights, kits on the ceiling fans. But I don't know. We might put some on. I don't know for sure yet. But you got one, two, three, four. Four big ceiling fans. And I told you to get, to get them to where they're inside of this so they'll all match. All the way down. And I can't wait to see that big boy lit up right there. It's going to look good. It's going to be a beautiful home. About to get it back on. And I'm hoping hoping the doctor will let me go and uh, I can get back started on it and get it finished. But it's really close right now. Cabinets, floor covering. Finishing out the trim and start setting fixtures. You know, the finish finish on the uh, toilet sinks, ceiling fans, stuff like that, which is time consuming, but it's just a part of it I gotta go through. Yeah, I gotta still gotta put a finish on that door and then the one in the bathroom back there too. Going into that little half bath in the uh, laundry room. Her closet, I gotta do a bunch of shelving in there. I forgot about that. I haven't decided to get it to go on wire, you know, those wire shelving that you can get. But it's going to be wall to wall. This is her closet. Also, we're going to have a washer and dryer in here and a stack washer and dryer coming in the back door. So when you come in the back door back here, muddy or whatever, you can just throw your clothes right in the washing machine and you don't have to worry about tractors all the way through the house. And of course, Anna, when she's getting her shower right there, it's going to be more convenient. So we're going to have a washer and dryer right here. And then probably shelving all the way around. Possibly a, a, a little island in the middle with more hanging space because the kid has got so many clothes. So you could go all the way up here with an island and have a stack, you know. So if I'm going to do it with wood, then I got a lot to do. You know, when the dial rods to hold the hangers. It'll probably be two or three levels of that. And of course, one whole wall will probably be just places to put boots, just shelves, just put shoes and boots and 
all that mess. Her closet is bigger than her bedroom. And look at the size of this little tiny bathroom. Go have a double vanity, you know, have a vanity there and then one there and then a linen closet between each vanity, you know, both ends and in the middle. So, it's gonna be nice, really nice. Very pleased the way it turned out. Uh, that'll wrap up the house once we get that little bit done right there. And then I get to start out here and get this concrete poured and finish out this carport. But you can see what I was talking about about this door. It sat in the warehouse long enough and you can see these smudges on it. So you have to go back and lightly sand it just to get that off. I mean, you, it's not going to come off. So when you sand it, and you're going to sand the whole door and you'd sand it with a light green paper because if you went with a course then when you stain it you would see every one of those those scratch marks so you have to go over with a light red sandpaper but that's a little half bath right there so three doors to do the walls around the tub and the master bath to do and of course the cabinets will all be the same color now out here hand rounds hand rounds and then finish this. I've still got to do the gable end, the metal on the outside. That end, that whole end down there is just gonna be like a, like a, the hanger hunting clothes storage building on that outside. So we're gonna have two bays to park vehicles under. And then that last bay is just gonna be for storage. But it'll all be concrete. All that'll be concrete right there. So we're gonna close that, like I said, that first bay right there in. So it'll be nice. And can possibly put a ceiling in it and have a little loft area to, to store more stuff up in the attic part of it. And then stain all of this stuff out here. All of this exposed wood on the outside is gonna need some, you know, some kind of stain on it. So they gotta, I ain't doing that. I done told them, I ain't doing that. Because let me tell you, I wouldn't fight getting it on the metal. You'd be constantly cleaning, dragging drag, oh, drop cloths around. It would just be a pain. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to let them handle that part of it. Maybe we might put metal. I think we've got enough old rusty tin. We may do this in rusty tin right here. And then, you know, close in the outside instead of trying to do the soffit on the outside of the rafter instead of trying to close it in with metal just just put bird blocks up there and then that way you don't have critters and stuff coming in and, and making nests all up on top of this tin that we're going to put on the bottom but thinking about putting the old metal all the way down and just trimming on that outside fascia you know just like putting a corner piece of corner trim or something and of course that antler chandelier is going to hang right in the middle and it is beautiful. Y'all wait till you see these things. Other than that, we ain't got nothing to do. <laughs> <laughs> Not a thing in the world to do. But look at this old trim how it turned out. It's beautiful. I love it. I love it. And I had enough to do this room. Gonna have enough to do the baseboard in this, in this room. Everything else is going to be this regular baseboard like this. Okay, y'all. All I got to do is see if the doctor's going to turn me loose and start working this neck. And I, I'm sure he's going to say something about rehab. And I think I got plenty of rehab right here to, to get me through it. So we're hoping. I'm still in a lot of pain and having a hard time sleeping. But oh, I'm... I'm a whole lot better than I was. And I'm hanging in there like a hair in a biscuit, so I ain't gonna quit. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Y'all hang in there. We're gonna see what we can do. Paige is fixing to fly back uh, to Canada tomorrow. I don't know what I'm gonna do without her. But uh, she's <laughs> flying back. Her brother's having surgery. Y'all pray for him. He's having a uh, hip replacement. Yeah. Hip replacement surgery. So she's gonna go back there and, and try to help him out like she did me. She's worked me through all of this stuff, her and Hannah and the rest of my family, but uh, Paige has been there every step of the way. And gonna miss her, but she's coming back. I'm coming back. Yeah, whatever the doctor's gonna let me do, that's what I'm gonna be doing. But 
people, this thing is going to be beautiful. It sure is. It's going to be beautiful. You've done time. one heck of a job. Gosh, it's gorgeous. If I want to put that flooring down, I sure do dread going around all of these <laughs> posts and all of this stuff, cutting around all this mess. It's going to be fun. But we'll get it done. Hope y'all enjoyed the video and appreciate everybody. Appreciate y'all.